Right before we get into this video, if you want to support me or communicate with me, please go follow my Twitter and join my Discord server. You can find both links in the description. If you would like to support me in Fortnite, feel free to use code LICKBTW in the Fortnite editor zone. Thanks so much, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, so for our RGB shake, of course, I'm only using Apple Light Motion. This is the most simple way to do this, in my opinion, and I'll show you guys how to do it now. So I'm obviously going to open up, a, open up a new project in Light Motion with 4K by 60 FPS and simply add in my clip. This clip already has velocity on it, it's just pretty simple, and right now we're going to be adding in the RGB shake. As you guys see here, here's the VLO. So pretty simple, it's like the one I showed in my previous video. And then the only thing I'm going to do first is split the clip where the pellets first show up, so this frame right here. And I'm going to go to the second clip, and I'm going to minimize it to around one second. This doesn't have to happen, but it's just easier for me, so I'm just going to make it shorter like this. And then yeah, so now we have this little section, and this is where we're going to add all our stuff onto. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add in tiles. So to search up tiles, oops, tiles, and just add this one, standard settings, and then change it to mirror. So now you'll have reflect edges when you add in your shake effect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back onto the clip, press effects, add effect, and then type in swing. This is what we're going to use for our shake. It's really handy, and it's pretty simple to use. We'll change the frequency down to 1.0, so just bring it down here. I'm going to change this angle 1 to negative 6. So I'm going to bring this right here. I'm going to bring angle 2 to 3.6. So bring it down to 3.6. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the beginning of this clip, keyframe both angle 1 and angle 2, both of these, and then go forward in the clip almost to the end. So around here, keyframe both of them again, and turn them both down to 0. So for angle 2, I'll bring it down to 0. For angle 1, I'll bring it up to 0. Here's what, should, here's what it should look like now. So a little basic tilt shake, and the thing is this doesn't really look too special right now, so what we're going to do is go to Move and Transform, go to this third option, which is Scale. We're simply going to add a keyframe on here, add a keyframe near the end, and go to this first keyframe, and move this line to the right, so it's a little bit of a screen pump, and it adds a little screen pump to your RGB shake. I think it looks pretty cool. Play around with the keyframes if you want. You can move it back if you think it's too early. Uh, this is all up to you. You can also use the graph if you guys want to do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple and just leave it at this. Now that we have our little shake effect, I think that's pretty nice. Of course, you can add any shake you want. And then for the RGB, we're simply going to press add effect and type in RGB split. So it's going to be the first option right here. Right now, it's pretty crazy. So I'll just add a keyframe for strength right here. Oops, I clicked out of it. I'm going to go to RGB split, add a keyframe here. Add a keyframe a little bit like in the middle of these keyframes and change this one to zero. Right now, there's going to be no, so at this keyframe, the second keyframe, there's going to be no RGB, but at the beginning, there is going to be RGB. You can also change the strength to whatever you guys want. I like it to have not too much strength, but enough so that it's not like crazy. You have negative strength if you guys want the RGB to be on the left, or positive strength if you want it to be on the right. Just keep it simple. I like to keep it around 0.1, something simple, but not too crazy. You guys can judge it here. It looks pretty nice, and it's a good addition to your shake. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Here's what it looks like now. Hope you guys enjoyed this simple RGB shake tutorial and hope to see you guys in future tutorials. See you guys later.